Hi, my name's Tony and I'm from The Sup Company and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the all new 2021 Red Paddle Co 10.6 Ride. So here it is, the all new Red Paddle Co 10.6 Ride for 2021. It is quite simply an icon in terms of inflatable paddle boards and paddle boarding as a whole. It's arguably the most popular board on the market today. It is certainly Red Paddle Co's most popular board in their range and has been pretty much since the year dot. Because the 106 ride really just appeals to so many people, covers off so many different bases. Because the board being 10 foot six long overall, 32 inches wide, and 284 litres of volume just works for so many people, you know, families, paddlers as a starter, and people just looking for a board that does a bit of everything. The 106 ride really is your go to, and it's not something you're really going to readily outgrow. But for Red Paddle Co. as a company, it is a tricky board, and, and by that I mean it's difficult because where do you improve upon something that's such an icon? How do you even make changes to it without alienating you know, a lot of existing paddlers and those that know of Red and want to go and get a Red Paddle Co board? But I have to say that with this new 2021 model, the subtle changes that they've done, there's good reason behind it, there's good thinking, and they certainly know what they're doing, and that is really testament just to how hard Red Paddle Co keep pushing, keep improving their product and we just see the quality get better every year. And to be honest, for the last couple of years, we don't know how they've done it because we didn't think you could make the boards any better than they were making, but they just get better and better. But look, let's run you through from the nose down to the tail as we do here at the sub company. So starting off on the nose, we've got that classic all rounder shape. The overall outline of the board in 2021 hasn't changed. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. The shape's been proven now for a couple of years at 10 foot six long. With this 32 inch width, it gets to quite quickly in the nose. It fills out and that just means stability. It's great to see a nice carry handle mounted on the nose. You can also use that to secure the board as well if you're on the back of a boat or if you're you know, on a scraggy bit of um, land and you want to tie it off, you can do that. But the biggest change on the board is they've done away with what's become conventional now for a lot of brands, this crisscross bungee arrangement and they've replaced it with these one-touch belts. And the boards stand out as a result. You definitely, if there was any doubt that it was a Red Paddle Co board before, this is most definitely a 2021 Red Paddle Co board because every board in the range carries this one-touch belt system. And I have to say that actually in practice, it's an improvement. Um, and at first glance, that might not seem the case, but once you start to actually use it, because you can just reach down, snug the belts up, <coughs> they're not going to move on you. It also means because the width of the belt is greater than just a single string of bungee, things like, you know, particularly we paddle off a gravel slipway. So we use, um, I paddle in uh, thongs or flip flops uh, and walk down to the water's edge. Tuck those underneath here now. They're much more secure than under the bungees than they have been in previous years. And it's a really nice touch and it just helps separate red really from the other boards out there in the market. The Red Paddle Co repeater deck pad is back again in 2021, but huge. They seriously increased the amount of deck pad on the boards, and that is only a good thing. There is so much deck pad underfoot now in the vast two thirds of the board that you simply can't put a foot wrong and not find grip underfoot. It runs all the way back down. We still love this um, embossed finish. It's very, very grippy underfoot and that flows all the way down to a diamond cut deck pad. So you kind of get a feel for the board underfoot and you start to understand when you start to work your way towards the tail and ultimately off the tail. You kind of have your foot placement so you know where everything is. Handle's nicer this year. It feels a bit closer to the board. There's not so much excess handle there, a bit snugger and it's really nice soft carry handle, plastic free, and a really nice finish there with the embroidered logo on the handle. You get a third handle on the tail of the board with the D-ring attachment for the leash. The leash has been overhauled in 2021, 
There's much less material in it. That means less uh, water absorption. And also the Velcro isn't gonna pick up on a wetsuit and those types of things. And it's not gonna cause any snags. It's a nice improvement by Red Paddle Coat. So let's just roll the board over onto its rail and we can see the big change they've made in 2021. And immediately you can see that the board now is on twin fins as opposed to the three thruster fin setup that's uh, kind of conventionally inspired by surfboards and so on. But the twin fin arrangement has actually um, filtered down into the boards from Red's very successful compact range. The big difference with the fin system in being on this twin arrangement is actually they're towed in slightly. And in them being towed in, it means that all that um, force and paddling effort as you're going forwards is effectively driving the board in a straight line. And it really does noticeably improve tracking. The other advantage with the fins is in 2021 that they are much, much stiffer than they have been in previous years. You can still get a little bit of curling on the tips of the fins, but that's very easily straightened back out, either bent back by hand um, or with a little bit of heat, a hairdryer or something along those lines, but they are incredibly robust. Red have also actually taken this year to actually put a colour matched skirt over the top of the fin, one to help keep it more secure, but also it just tidies up the overall aesthetic of the board and gives it a much, much cleaner finish. But the twin system arrangement, the twin fin arrangement, yeah, love it, big, big improvement. It also actually helps when you are packing the board away, it makes it much, much easier to roll and the board actually packs down to a much, much smaller size in the bag. And it's worth mentioning the bag on the 10.6 ride, as with all Red Paddle Code boards, the bag is arguably one of the best on the market, exceptionally well made, foil lined, plenty of room in there. Every board in the range shares the same bag. The backpack system is absolutely superb, very, very comfortable, and the wheels incredibly robust with very high quality bearings. Red haven't stopped in 2021. They have gone back to the drawing board again, but not on the board or the bag this time, but the pump. Red Paddle Co. broke the mold when they first launched their twin cylinder Titan pump a few years ago now, but they have torn up that sheet and they have come out with the Titan 2. This thing is a huge leap over what was already a fantastic pump, but it's a beast of a pump, albeit in a much, much smaller package. Not only is the pump more efficient, but it packs down to a much, much smaller size. Handle comes out as well. It's much more robust, but look, check out our video on the Titan. We'll pop a link up in the video and you go through and have a look at that there. Overall though, in 2021, the Red Paddle Co. 10.6 ride, if you are in the market for a premium all-rounder, one of the most, uh, one of the stiffest on the market that takes one of the highest pressures available, then yes, the Red Paddle Co. 10.6 ride has to be on your shortlist. You have to come and see us here and try it out for yourself at our test center. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not give us a call in the shop or head over to thesupco.com. If you want to stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking up here. If you want to see our next video, however, take a look up here.